Hi, I'm Dan Spiller, and over the course of these videos, I'll be showing you everything you need to know to make high-detailed models like the ones I made here in Tinkercad. These models are for a game called Droid Storm, where you draft parts, build robots, then battle with them in an arena. It's awesome! So look for it this winter, 2021, on Kickstarter. For those of you new to my videos, please start at my first video, Advanced Tinkercad Tips in 5 Minutes Part 1, before continuing onwards. Now let's begin. Section 1, Using Extreme Duplications to Add Details. Based on centering and or repetition, this technique can fill space, build details, and add last-minute changes to objects with symmetrical sides. Say I wanted to add a part to each side of this model's chest. First, place the part on one side, duplicate it, and move it to the approximate place on the other side. Next, group both parts to each other and center the group to the main model. Always make sure it looks good. If not, just back up and adjust the distance of the pieces before regrouping and centering them again. If the model needs symmetrical changes on both the front and back, you can duplicate the first group, move the copy into position, and mirror them if needed. Now group them with the first group. Lastly, center this large group with the side of the main model and confirm it looks good. To add symmetrical markings to a circle, you first need to know that a circle is 360 degrees and some of the ways can easily be divided. Simple divisions are 15, 20, 30, 45, and 60. While you can use any divisible number, fine details are going to be less noticeable on smaller models. First place the shapes on one side, then duplicate and move the new part approximately where you need it on the other side and mirror it if needed. Then group both parts and center them to your model with the alignment tool. Make sure to center them on both the X and Y axis or your future duplicates will shift. Next, duplicate the set with Ctrl D and rotate it any amount that divides into 360. Keep hitting duplicate to copy the previous rotations until the pattern is complete. You can use the same technique on all equal sided shapes, but the amount you will need to rotate each set of parts will depend on the shape. Squares are rotated 90 degrees, hexagons 60, and octagons 45. To create complex patterns such as spirals and staircases, duplicate your parts and move the copies to the desired location. Once done, keep using the duplicate function to repeat this pattern. Section 2. The practical mindset behind redesigning basic shapes into detailed pieces. Now that you've learned how to sketch out and separate your project into groups, round things, and manipulate duplications, it's time to look at the reasoning behind creating high detailed pieces. The fundamental principles we'll be exploring can be broken down into two things. One, upgrade all your basic shapes with shapes that are similar but different. Two, make all your pieces thematically correct. The easiest way to replace basic shapes is to duplicate or pull them out using the shift plus arrow keys, then change them until they no longer resemble basic shapes. While a robot arm can be easily sketched with a long, thin cylinder, it's easily replaced with a few simple beams and pistons. Basic cylinders and spheres can have larger caps, spaces, divots, and enlarged connectors, all by using basic shapes. Squares and other similar shapes can be cut, angled, and lined with other shape patterns. Just keep experimenting. Before you know it, you'll be making high-detailed thematic pieces. Section 3. The Introduction to high detail Additions, Known as Greebles. Greeples are small fiddly bits that add detail and dimension to your work. They make a piece stand out by making it seem much larger than it really is. Greeple examples can be seen on spaceships, robots, and most model kits. The secret to greebles is that they look like something you would mostly recognize, with emphasis on the word mostly. When designing greebles, you can't just throw a bunch of junk on your model. They need to fit thematically, like they are a part or group of parts that add to the whole story. The easiest way to start making greebles is to use the letter tool. No joke. Take the capital letter T, duplicate it, and rotate it 20 degrees. Repeat until you have a circle. And just like that, you have a pattern for a gear face. Rotate it less, and you've made a propeller. Now place them around a cylinder. Now angle them to line an inverted cone. Now try clipping, rounding, stacking, shrinking, and extruding them. Now realize there are 26 more letters to combine, scale, and play with, as well as all the symbols and numbers. The inside of this model's chest piece are three rotated T's. The symbols on his back, a bunch of letters. This model was brought to you by the letters E, W, and Y. This masterpiece is just shapes covered with letters. The top is tilted T's, asterisks, and E's, and its entire inner beam structure is just capital I's. While I like to say how clever I am for sculpting this amazing area, credit goes to the letters V and Y. All I did was make them deep and give them a slope. 
This video concludes everything you need to know to make high detailed models in Tinkercad. For exclusive models and articles, or to course me to make more Tinkercad videos, please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please like it. If you have any questions or comments, I like those too. Yes, you can commission me for consulting, designing, and even mailing you custom prints. I hope to hear from you all soon.